Right guys, so today we're going to look at milk prices. So uh, milk price calculations along with uh, average daily gains, uh, food conversion ratios, um, calculating organic matter, calculating organic matter in soil, reading graphs in general is going to be the typical sort of areas where new, numeracy is going to appear in the exam. So um, students tend to struggle with these calculations, so hopefully this worksheet might help. So the question asks, complete the following milk price calculations based on the data below. Okay, so there's no faffing about, there's no Brady's farm and he's from County Carlow and all this is just straight to the point. So milk prices is A plus B minus C. A is going to stand for your protein. So your percentage of protein is multiplied by this standard number, 5.466 b is equal to your percentage of fat and again multiplied by a standard number of 4.218 and then your fees and deductions are going to be naturally taken away okay so if you have a high uh, tbc total bacterial count if you have a high somatic cell count in your milk all those different areas are way that deductions could be taken off the overall price farmers are going to be paid for their milk okay so, uh, our, we have our description, get me laser out, so we have a description here, uh, our supply in litres, our proteins, our fats, our VAT, price per litre, and then our total price, okay? So we'll work down through it and hopefully uh, we'll get some bit of an answer. Right, so our supply is 23,523 litres, so that is all we need to know for that, and uh, that is going to be useful information when it comes to the total price, so we're going to multiply our total price um going to multiply our total price um by twenty three thousand five hundred and twenty three at the end um so our protein is three point seven four percent and we're going to multiply that by five point four six six so we have three point four or seven four multiplied by five point four six six and then for our fats we have 4.12 multiplied by our 4.218 get 20.44 okay just round to the nearest two decimals and then 4.12 multiplied by 4.218 and that is going to give us 17.37 okay so uh, just out to the side here i'm going to add up um my protein and my fats at 20.44 cents per liter and 17.37 cents per liter and that is going to uh, give us 37.81 cents per liter when we want to calculate VAT, so VAT is stands for value added tax, okay? So we're going to multiply this total price here, 37.81, by 5.5%. So we have 37.81 multiplied by 5.5%. Now, important that you put in the percent sign in your calculator, or for any of you that are good at maths there, you can multiply it by 0 0.055. It's the same thing. Um, so when we multiply that out, we have 2.08 cents per litre is being added onto the VAT. So that's 2.08. Going to add all them up. So we're basically adding A, B. So we have no C in this question here. So we have nothing to deduct. So we're just going to add them all up. So we have our... 20.44 plus our 17.37 plus our 2.08 of 39.89 cents per liter so that's the price we're getting per liter of milk then if you want to find out the total price our farmer is getting for his um collection there so it's going to be 39.89 cents per liter multiplied by our total supply of our milk 23,523 so we're going to multiply that in and we get so we're getting an awful big number here so 900 
and thirty eight thousand three hundred and thirty two cents. Okay, and then if we divide that by our hundred, this farmer is going getting nine thousand three hundred and eighty three euros for a milk collection. So that is question one there, and I would suggest that uh, you do need to learn them 5.466 and 4.218 off, but bar that now, uh, everything is straightforward. So exact same again, our milk price is going to be our A plus B minus C, okay? So you can see here already we have a few penalties, total bacterial count and somatic cell count. Uh, and then we have a bit of a volume charge as well. So uh, maybe a farmer isn't able to store enough of milk on his farm that the milk processor has to come to his farm maybe every second day, whereas large-scale farms might have larger bulk tanks that the milk processor only comes to collect the milk once a week, something like that, okay? Right, so again, we have our uh, supply of 28,773 litres. We're protein here of 3.56% multiplied by our 5.466 and then our fat 4.08 multiplied by 4.218. So we have 3.56 uh, multiplied by 5.466 and we get 19.45 cents per litre and then our fat we have 4.08 multiplied by by 4.218 and we're going getting 17.21 cents per litre so that is our protein and fats taken care of now uh, compared to the last question we have a couple of deductions so we have minus 4.5 we have a minus four, uh, 0.42 and a minus 0.17 uh, for our volume charge our total bacterial count and our somatic cell count so we're adding up our protein and fats and we get 36.66 uh, cents per litre and then we're going to take away minus 4.5 minus 0.42 minus 0.17 and our cents per litre. We end up with 31.57 cents per litre. This is before the VAT. Okay, so before the VAT, that is our uh, price per litre. Value added tax, we add on the price of our VAT. So 31.57 31.57 multiplied by our 5.5%. 74 cents per litre so i probably should have put another box here for the total price of milk but anyways uh, our vat is 1.74 cents per litre and when we add that to our price so we have 31.57 plus our 1.74 at 33.31 cents per litre. So our price per litre is 33.31 cents per litre. So 33.31 cents per litre multiplied by the total supply of 28,773 litres. So what is the farmer's paycheck? That's one thing for sure they won't be telling you anyway. Nine hundred and fifty eight thousand four twenty eight cents and we just divide that by a hundred to stick it into euros I divide by a hundred and that's nine thousand five hundred and eighty seven euros right so uh, hopefully that goes through uh, them two examples there hopefully they make sense and if anyone has any questions uh, please send them on to me and if anyone wants a copy of this worksheet to work through uh, maybe questions two and four and do these couple of questions there at the end, uh, DM me on Instagram or Twitter or whatever. Okay, good luck.